Learning construction. Learn, share, expand. Hey guys, welcome back to learningconstruction.com. And on this video, I want to talk to you guys about shear walls. All right, so let's get started. This is basically a shear wall. But what is a shear wall? Well, a shear wall is a wall panel, as you can see over here, that is especially designed to support the horizontal loads in the building. In other words, it's built to maintain a building horizontally against forces like wind or the weight of the building itself as it's, built, as it's constructed up. Um, and shear walls could be made of several different types of material. They could be made out of steel. They could also be made out of masonry. What I'm showing you here is a pretty standard shear wall, which is made out of uh, plywood or, and wood. So I want to show you the parts on this one real quick. As you can see here, this is the OSB plywood that is specified and designed by the engineer, requesting the size and the type of nailing schedule that it requires. So as you can see over here on the edge nailing, the spacing between the nails and the type of nails will be specified by the engineer. The diaphragm nailing, which is the center in the shear wall, it will also be specified in, the, in your shear wall. The other thing is the spacing between studs, you can see over here, this is the standard 16 inch center, but the spacing will also be specified in the structural. It's not always 15 inches in center, it's not always 12 inches in center. It all depends on the capacity and the load that the shear wall is being designed for. Okay, this one is a good example of a steel shear wall. You can see over here there's a pre manufactured product by Simpson Strong Tank. This is a SSW or the strong wall built by them. Um, they also have pre manufactured wood ones, and there are heavy, there are other heavy duty materials that they use for a much heavier load. Don't forget to keep in mind that every shear wall is designed to receive a load and is especially designed uh, by the engineer to receive this load. Therefore, uh, everything will be specified in the schedule. For example, the fill plate, the stud, the type of stud, the width, the nailing pattern, plywood, the top plate, the blocking in between and every opening that is going to be through this shear wall over here will be specified in the detail. Okay, here's another important thing about shear walls. They will always have a fold down at the end of the shear wall. So as you can see over here, there's a pH hold down over here, which is going to have a special bolt. And this, is, this bolt is designed to a certain length in the foundation to support the load. Another thing is, every shear wall will have a J bolting on the exterior. Sometimes shear walls can be on the exterior walls, which will be a, a typical uh, detail on bolting. But when they're on the inside, you gotta remember to, to place all these bolts and lay them out in the right spot. Don't forget to always check your structural drawings and your local building code for anything that is related to structural like this. Once again, this is Ernesto with Learning Construction, and thank you guys for watching.